The Rukunagara has always been important since it was enunciated on the 31st of August, actually, 1970. It was on Mardeka Day. It was enunciated by the fourth Agong, the fourth young Diputan Agong, you know. And uh, so it is still as relevant as ever because if you look at the five goals, they're universal. They transcend time and place. Belief in God, as explained by the commentary itself, it is basically a belief that um, the vast majority of Malaysians hold on to. That's why it is their belief in God. It is a belief which is important because it establishes the foundation of your society. But it is important to emphasize that it's not linked to any particular religion. The second one, uh, loyalty to king and country, of course, loyalty to king and country explained in the commentary on the Rukunagara that your loyalty to this country must uh, surpass your loyalty to any other country. The constitutional monarchy was already in the constitution and that's also our history. It is an acknowledgement of our history, but uh, it is nonetheless this notion of a constitutional monarch, not an absolute monarch, you know, constitutional monarch framed within the parameters of the constitution. Next one on the supremacy of the constitution, that this is Malaysia's supreme law, that it would guide the nation, because we look at all the things which are important to us, they're actually in the constitution. So if you do not give uh, pride of place to the constitution, it uh, doesn't make sense, since the laws that are most fundamental to the country, the position of uh, the monarchy itself, the national language, the role of other languages, these are all in the constitution. Islam is the religion of the federation, but the position of the other religions is all in the constitution. So this is why you need to elevate the position of the constitution. But the rule of law is highlighted because you're stating very clearly that this is a nation founded upon laws. It's not a society where power and the exercise of power is arbitrary. That's very, very important to my mind, that the exercise of power is not arbitrary. In other words, you can't do what you want just because you've got power. Yeah? There are rules, there are regulations, there are laws. So this is what we mean by the supremacy of the rule of law. And the last one, of course, is good behavior and morality among ourselves. We should be sensitive to each other's feelings, which I think is a perennial challenge in a multi-religious, multicultural society in particular. <laughs>